So now what we want to do is take some time here and solve some linear inequalities. We're not going to really worry now about graphing these, although in some of your homework questions you may be asked to graph them. Uh, but here we're just going to worry about the solving part since we already had some good practice with graphing. Uh, so we're just going to worry about getting it in the form x greater than or less than or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to a number. So for the most part we approach linear inequalities the same way as we do linear equations. Just have to worry about that division step at the end uh, if we're multiplying or dividing by a negative number. So here we can simplify just like in a regular equation. We can multiply through by 5. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 2 is minus 10. Plus 4 and then on the other side 3x plus 8. We can't really simplify yet. So we keep going. Here we have a negative 10 and a positive 4. So we can put those together by adding them. That gets us to 5x minus 6 less than or equal to 3x plus 8. And so at this point we want our we want our variable onto one side. So we go ahead and subtract off the 3x. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and move the 6 to the other side. Okay, and then let's simplify. 5 minus 3x is 2x. 6 is cancel out, 3x is cancel out, 8 plus 6 is 14. And then we'll have 2x less than or equal to 14. So we divide both sides by 2. And we simplify. And because we divided by a positive number here, we do not change the direction of the inequality. It just stays as x less than or equal to 7. x less than or equal to 7. Let's move on to a second example here. 18 minus 5 parentheses 3 plus x greater than 14 plus 9x. So once again we want to uh, try to solve so we have some simplifying to do. So we need to take that minus 5 and that's going to distribute through minus 5 times 3 to minus 5 times x. So we go ahead and do that. Minus 5 times 3 will give us a 15. Uh, minus 5 times x will be minus 5x. And again the other side here I don't have anything to do. Just stays as it is for the moment. And then we can simplify. We have some like terms there, the, eight and the 18 and the 15. That will become 3 minus 5x greater than 14 minus that, or plus 9x. Now we can move the variable on to whichever side we want. But typically with inequalities, I think it's clearer to most people if we just stay in the habit of always getting the variable on the right-hand side. So I'm going to do that by bringing my 9x over using my addition property to move it. And while I'm at it, I'm going to take that number 3 there, so he's over onto the other side. And then we go through and simplify by combining like terms. Uh, minus 5x minus 9x will be a negative 14x. 14 minus 3 will be 11. And at this point, to solve for x, we need to divide both sides by the minus 14. And then simplify. Now because we divide it by a negative here, the inequality inverts. Goes from greater than to now less than. And then 11 over negative 14 we would simplify. There's really not much we can do. I am going to at least put the negative sign up front or up top, which is kind of the conventional way of handling this kind of problem. And so we get our answer there. X is less than negative 11 over 14.